Hey, what is going on today, YouTube? It is Supergassy here, and I have a Wi-Fi battle for you guys today, finally! Oh my god, I know, it's been so long! Um, yeah, it's been really long since I've had a Wi-Fi battle up, and I really need to get one up, so I figured I'd record one now, even though my, uh, mouth sore is still acting up, so I may sound a little funny here and there. But, um, yeah. Um, we have a battle today against Sharp Dress Gaming. I had this battle a long time ago, and I figured I'd upload it just because I really, I was gonna upload my battle against Lucky Green, but it turns out I didn't save it, which really sucks because it was a really good match and I wanted to upload it so bad. Um, you can go check that out on Lucky's channel though. He does help out with the PGL, he does previews and weekly recaps, and he's so freaking awesome. I love him. He's so funny. Um... He's a real good friend, and, um, I'm sorry if you hear me drinking water, just my lip hurts. Um, yeah, so, I have, we're playing Yu Yu. So, I have my Crocodile, my Chestnut, my Hydreigon, my Mega Blastoise, Nidoking, and, um, Main Shao, and he has the Trevenant, the Lucario, the Samurott, Embor, Kyurem, and Mega Aerodactyl, obviously, um, because nothing on his team can be Mega. So, yeah, that's the teams. This is going to be somewhat of a short battle, just warning you guys, um, so you'll know I either get swept or I sweep. Who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just start the battle. Let's get into it. I like the music I chose for this battle. I love it. Oh my god. Ah! So he's going to lead off with his Aerodactyl. And my best bet was just leading off with Crocodile because it it isn't defensive. It's offensive with Intimidate and Dreadplate. So that I can sort of um, bluff the Scarf and bluff that I'm defensive at the same time. So right here I'm just going to go for the knockoff as he does go into his... Lucario, and fortunately for me, he's not justified, and I do get a crit, but it doesn't really matter because I do outspeed the next turn, and I go for an Earthquake, and that's going to take out the Lucario, a major threat to my team, gone within the first few turns there. Crocodile just putting in the work this game, just great Pokemon overall in UU. Um, I am going to switch out, though, because I cannot stay in Incineroar, and I really thought this thing was physical, so Chestnut was my main switch into it, and... It turns out it's not, and he's going to go for the Ice Beam, and this Samurott is pretty much going to get the two KOs of this game, I believe. Um, actually, it's going to put in the work against my team, and that really sucks because I have nothing for Samurott. I just have to play around it, pretty much. And um, So I'm going to go for a Spiky Shield, just scouting what he wants to go for. I know he won't have the Sword Stance because he is not physical, so he's just going to go for the Hydro Pump um, in case I wanted to switch out, which is a good play. Because if I did switch out, that would be problematic for him. And, yeah. So I'm going to switch out here. I'm going to save my Chestnut for Death Fodder. And I'm going to go into my Blastoise. Now, I know he can be carrying the Grass Knot. But I have max HP. So I know I can live one after an Ice Beam. Which, uh, I was obviously, you know, hoping he'd go for. If he went for the Hydro Pump, it might have done a little bit more. And then gotten him the Grass Knot KO the next turn. Um, but no, I, I know I can live one. I know I can take one. I know Blastoise is heavy. It's a water type. But I am going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to go for the Aura Sphere as he does go for the Grass Knot. I know I can take one, um, just from, like, previous experience with this Blastoise. And I know Samurott's uh, special attack isn't really that high. So I'm going to go for an Aura Sphere, and that is, um, Mega Launcher boosted, and that's one dead Samurott that, right there. Um, so I do have two Death Fodders now, which kind of sucks. But um, it kind of helps, too, because he has a lot of offensive pressure on his team, and this kind of helps me relieve it by because I don't really have a switch into them. I can just sack things off and then go into my check. Um, he is just going to Mega Evolve and go for the Earthquake here. Fine by me. I don't really need Blastoise anymore. He did his job by taking out the Samurott, and yeah. Um, I really don't see him setting up Stealth Rocks either, so I don't need I don't need him for Rapid Spinner. I'm going to go back into Crocodile and get my Intimidate drop here. I know Crocodile can't switch into the Aerodactyl just in case it's running Aqua Tail. I know they run that um, just for ground types and whatnot. So he is going to switch into his Emboar. I really don't agree with this. Um, I am just going to go for my Stealth Rocks, though. I think Crocodile outspeeds most of his team other than the Aerodactyl and maybe the Kyurem. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake here. And that is going to straight one-shot the Embor because I am offensive with max attack, max speed. 
And I do have Dreadplate, so I don't know what he was thinking here by bringing in the Trevenant, as I showed him knockoff earlier. And I know a knockoff is straight going to Oko this thing, because it runs more special defense than defense. And it's really not defensive at all, other than on the special defensive side it can take hits. So a, knock a knockoff with a Dreadplate is just going to knock that thing out. Get out of my house. <laughs> he does have the Lumberry. Not really important. He is going to go into the Kirim here, which could be a problem for me if it does outspeed. If it is like a Choice Scarf Kirim, that could be a problem. So I am just going to switch out, sack off Chestnut, because I have no switch into this thing um, since Mega Blastoise is gone. I have no switch in. Um, even a Draco Meteor would hurt anything on my team because I don't have a Fairy type. Um, yeah, bringing two ground types was not a good choice on my part, but um, I just threw together a team. Um, you know, Sharp was asking for a battle on Twitter. I was like, okay, cool. Um, or I was asking, I don't know how this went down. It happened like a month ago or so. Um, so I am just going to bring in Mean Xiao, and I am Choice Scarf. I'm just going to go for the high jump kick. That is going to KO the Kiram, and I know I'm going to outspeed the Aerodactyl because I am Choice Scarf, and I don't think he knows that. Um, he might if he was Choice Scarf, but um, I am Choice Scarf. I'm going to outspeed the Aerodactyl and just KO it with a high jump kick. So that was a really quick battle for you guys today. Um, just a quick 4-0 against Sharp Dress Gaming. Um, I know it really wasn't like one of my closer battles, but I figured I'd upload something that was more, you know, of just sh showing my power in a battle. Um, yeah, so uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like down below. Be real awesome. Um, I'm still kind of in pain with this mouth sore that I got. Um, I, I think it's from like eating something really hot and like stabbing myself with a fork <laughs> by accident. So this thing's been bothering me all week and I just really hope it goes away soon. I've been drinking a lot of milk, hopefully that would help, maybe lemon juice. I don't know, if you guys know what'll get rid of my mouth sore quicker, that would help, so leave it down in the comments below. Um, Storm Silver LP will still be going on, I gotta finish that, I gotta bulk record episodes and get that back to you guys. Um, PGL battles are still going on, um, I know we've had a few problems. Um, I don't think Twan and Brad battled this week because Twan was having internet problems, and I know Slur's not posting videos anymore, so he's still going to battle in the PGL, though. We we talked that through. Um, we're still looking for some analysts, if you guys want to be an analyst. I'm always looking to add people for analyst videos. Um, you know, if you're really down for it, just comment down below and I'll get to you. Um, you know, I'll... I'll test you or something and blah blah uh it always just helps if you know you guys could help us out help us out to help you go check out the pgl we are 2-0 and this season so far on pgl and that's great so i guess this is somewhat of an update battle video just for you guys um if you want to hear me ramble for a bit that's fine um but yeah thank you for watching leave a comment down below if you would please uh you know and leave a like for, uh, I don't know, probably the shortest battle I've uploaded since day one. Um, yeah, so stay super, Super Squad. Peace out.